Recording in progress. <laughs> Trying to get myself together. <clears throat> in the middle of the day, right here, yeah. <sighs> Watch me on YouTube or you are tuning into the podcast. Thank you very much for listening. I am your host, Citorian, aka Distorted, Mr. D, Mr. E, whatever you want to call me. Whatever. It, it's cool. We all cool. We all people. We all family around here. Man, it's Friday night. I'm feeling a little good. Got me some of this yak. Um, start my therapy session today. It's like an eight-week therapy session, so I get a little time off work to work on me. I highly advise y'all. Uh, explore that option that your company that uh, medical leave to have mental health options you have to of course go through the steps which I, I highly implore you <clears throat> to take advantage of these benefits in which you are paying for at your company please take advantage of these benefits okay so I'm going to be working on my uh I was going to move on but again I brought them up last time my therapy cards boom uh-oh my therapy cards you know, it's like the last one I got was, uh, what did you learn about your emotions growing up? Identify how these lessons have helped you and have hurt you. Um, first thing that popped up to my mind was love. A lot of love I didn't really get. A lot of love, you know, I, got, I learned about love in a different way, in a different manner. But that's another story about another day. So, yeah, if you want to know more about that, let me know. We can talk more about that. Uh, we can go over what I wrote down. I got a whole little journal and everything. Shit's pretty lit. In other news, it's fucking um, Ukraine. Russia invaded Ukraine. That's crazy. Like, this is uh, another war that I've personally got to witness. Two fucking wars. I got one of them tattooed on my fucking arm. Because I was in it. <clears throat> now to see the same thing happen over again. So it's going to be somebody else's kids going through the same cycle that I went through. So, hey, prayers to the people, prayers to the situation, you know, got a whole lot, got a whole lot of other shit to worry about, but that's why he chose, to, that's why he did what he did, because we got so much other shit going on that we, we can't really be faced with bothering them, but we are, so it's chess, not checkers. In other news, just so happened to go viral today because um, everybody know about the neighborhood app. If you don't know about the no, no, if you don't know about the neighborhood app, no, I'm not sponsored by the neighborhood. Only sponsored by the Distorted Cosmos. Matter of fact, go online www.thedistortedcosmos. Get yourself a hat. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Just to happen. Anyway, um, we wound up going viral because this young man was. The video, it was a ring video that was <clears throat> downloaded to the neighborhood app. And then, you know, of course, we all assume the worst. You know, somebody's, you get a, a notification that somebody's snooping in over your backyard. You see these young men come in, peep over. And then the young lady in the house yells, get out my fucking backyard. And they take off running. Apparently, they was trying to get a ball, the football. It went over the fence. Oh, they just knock on the fucking front door. Even now, I posted that, and the young man's mama in, down in the comments said they were just trying to get a ball. The police came. The police retrieved the ball. It would have been no issue, but that's the thing. It wouldn't have been an issue had they just went to the front door in the first place. And I said, you need, you got, we're on a different type of alert right now. Like, we're a different type of cautious right now. Why are you even putting yourself in a situation in which something bad could possibly happen to you? We have to think things through. So we need to talk to these young men, these young ladies about this because that could have ended up terribly, terribly. The camera's just shaking the shit. That could have ended up terribly. So... <clears throat> And she, somebody was like, why is this post still up? It's already been identified. Because we still need to have that fucking conversation with these kids. Like, it, right now, trespassing? You fuck around, get killed. We don't know what's going on. There's too many people out here breaking in people's shit. 
There's too many people out here trying to kill people and hurt people. There's a lot going on right now. We need to talk to these young men, talk to these young ladies about the decisions that they're making. You have to think <clears throat> two, three steps ahead. You have to. I mean, that's just a logical thing to do in every situation. Just like somebody may have a backlash about this video and get mad, thumbs down and boo, 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 tomato, tomato. Oh, you fuck. What do you want to do to me? Get me canceled? Yeah, I'm still trying to get my subscribers up, baby. Still trying to get my likes up. That's fine. Start something else. But but I've thought that all the way through. Voicing my opinion. I'm not saying go out and hurt these kids. No. I'm saying these kids should have, these the mother expressed the same thing that I'm expressing. The kids should have went to the front door, right? The lady didn't know what was going on. She just see people coming over her backyard. Had she came out with that tootly, because she didn't know what the fuck was going on. Who, who's in the wrong? They were trespassing. She wouldn't have been in the wrong. That's all I'm saying. So on top of that, I ain't really going to keep this shit too long tonight. I'm going to go in here and enjoy my children. Have me a little bit of drink. Finish this drink up, shall I say. You know, be a fun dad in my house. And I hope don't nobody be in my backyard. Because we got cameras and sensors and shit for this exact reason. Am I going to ask questions? Why should I? Are they gonna? They didn't ask no questions by sneaking in my front, in, over my fence. Hopefully, I just feel like yelling. On that note, have a good night. If nobody's told you today, let me be the one to tell you. I love you, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Stay in the gym. Stay fit. Eat well. <laughs>